how to get more done every day and actually use less energy. What's up, you fighting entrepreneurs? This is your favorite person in the whole wide world, Onyx and all. Listen, this is something that I've been battling now with over for 20 years. And how many times do you finish the day and you think to yourself, what the heck did I actually do today? I didn't get anything done. And I fought this for a long time. And I'll tell you, at least when you're an entrepreneur, it's one of the worst feelings on the planet is to be finishing your day and feel like you didn't do anything that day. Where I am in my life now, at the time I'm filming this, I have a four month old at home. You know, I've got multiple multiple businesses and I've got my personal health stuff. I can't afford to go to the end of the day and feel like I didn't do anything. So I have three frameworks or three concepts I wanna go over with you today about time management and how I'm reviewing and using my time. I wanna start number one by a big lesson I learned. This was probably one of those most pivotal lessons I've read in a book. Cause you know, how many books do we read? We read books and how often do we actually remember what we read? Well, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey is one of my favorite books. I read this years ago. Well, I've read it many more times, so I remember most of the book, but I'm saying if I only had read it that one time years ago, this is the only one thing I remember. Time management. Here's how he does it. So hopefully on the screen, we'll draw it along with you. He creates a graph with four boxes. So a line down the middle, a line down the side. Now, On the vertical side, he writes, important, not important. So everything in this row is important and everything in this bottom row is not important. Now at the top, you have urgent, not urgent. So now you've got important, you've got not important, urgent, not urgent. You've got four boxes, right? So you're going to end up having a box that says urgent and important. You're going to have a box that says not urgent and important. And you're going to have a box that says not important, but urgent. And you'll have a box that says not important, not urgent. All right. Where do you spend most of your time? Actually, better yet, I'm gonna ask you a different question. Which box should you spend most of your time if you want to grow? Professionally, personally, if you wanna have the most growth, the fastest growth with the most sanity and not stress, where should you spend your time? I'll tell you when I was first asked this question, I don't know if this is your answer. I answered urgent, important, and I felt good about it. I said, well, it's urgent, so you obviously have to answer it, but do only the important tasks, not the not important tasks. And eh, Wrong. The place you should spend most of your time is important, not urgent. It's impossible to do. Urgent dominates our day. The reason you end every day not feeling like you did anything with your day was because you are stuck in the urgent and you're not in the important. See, when you measure your day at the end of the day and you say, did I do anything? You're measuring the important tasks. The reason you don't feel like you did anything is because you didn't do anything important. The urgent tasks probably weren't for you. The urgent tasks were probably for other people because it was their urgencies that you adapted into your urgencies. Where do people spend most of their time every day? You're going to laugh at this, but I have actually found that most employees of a normal company will spend their time in the not important, not urgent. (laughs) Or worse, they'll do not important, urgent. Many times the executives and the CEO are doing urgent and important. So actually the one box that we as a company, that we as a, we should be in the most, it gets ignored completely, which is the important, not urgent. Because it's not urgent. Urgency is demand our time. But now you're wondering, I don't have time. How do I actually get to those tasks? Well, that's where we're going to move into the next two frameworks I want to cover with you, which is how I manage and look at my time. It's really important because I really do look at it like this and I actually create blocks out of my time, right? I have four blocks. I create blocks out of my time. I've done this now very effectively for a couple of years. On and off, I fall off the bandwagon. It's allowed me to focus on the important. Before I move on, one second. Why is that? Why is it that we should be spending our time in the important, not urgent? Well, listen, the important, not urgent is the box where we have future ideas, where we have our growth. We have the things that we want to move towards. They are not urgent, but they're important, right? Like right now, there are so many things I want to be able to do in this company that will help us grow so much they're important, but they're not necessarily due tomorrow or the next week or the week after the week after. Hence, they always fall low on priority. Well, what if I said I've created a time in my day where urgent is irrelevant? There is a block of time in my day where it's only for important, not urgent. And so that actually forces me to use every day to do important tasks. I have not gone to sleep in a long time now, having felt like I didn't do anything that day because of this one block. So remember that. And if you want to get more details of that, read the seven habits of highly effective or highly successful 
successful people. Brilliant book. What are my four blocks or buckets of time? They are family, personal, important, and support. I'm going to go through these again. Family, personal, important, and support. This is how I group my day. These are my four buckets. Family, well, because I got a four month old at home and I'll be damned if I don't spend as much time with her as possible. I got a great wife who takes care of her all day. And so when I have time to spend with my wife, I will. Parents that are amazing and I'm going to spend as much time with them as I possibly can. So family for me takes the most important time. Second is you got personal. I'll tell you right now, if you're not taking time for yourself or your health, I didn't for years. I didn't actually add the personal bucket into my buckets until like two months ago, three months ago. It's I'm embarrassed to say this. I've let my health go completely crazy, completely aloof. I'm seeing the errors of my ways, as they would say right now. So personal is really important. And I'm going to talk about what goes into personal, right? I'm going to talk about my family time, what goes into that, my personal time. The third is important. Important tasks. I added this into my schedule maybe about a couple of years ago, and it's changed my life. And the last one is supporting. Supporting is basically me saying it's urgent. Supporting is a period of time in my day where I say, what are your priorities? What do you need from me? I'll go ahead and give you my time, but I don't give them my best time. I give them my leftover time. Because again, if you're in my life, if, especially if you work on my team, I want to empower you to make decisions. I want to empower you to do things. I don't want to become a crutch for you. And I cannot let my team or people in my life dictate or demand what I'm doing with my time. When you allow that to happen, that's when you go to sleep every night feeling like you didn't do anything important. So what do my buckets look like? This is the buckets. And I'll kind of give you specific examples and times and what I do in those buckets. I start the day every day. P, personal. In the morning, first thing I do is me. Sounds selfish, right? But if I'm not right, I'm not going to show up for my family right. I'm not going to show up for my employees right. I'm not going to show up for my business right. I'm not going to show up for anything right. So me, personal. That's the first bucket of the day. We move right to family. Then we move to important. It is arguably the largest bucket. And then we move into support. I try to make that as small as I can, but it's it's probably the third largest bucket. Then we go back to friend, family, back to personal. Close the day. Notice how I started the day with myself and end the day with myself. Now, some of you might be different. I'm an introvert. Most people don't believe that, but I am. I need my own time. I need to decompress. One of my favorite things, my wife always laughs at me. I'll say at night, she's getting ready to go to bed and I'm still sitting there and she's like, go to sleep. And I'm like, I need to. And she goes, yeah, 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 I know. Decompress. I'm like, yeah, I just need to read. I need my brain to shut down. I need alone time. I need to stare at a wall for a little bit. That's just how I am. So personal, family, important, support, family, personal. How does this work? All right. So I get up in the morning. Personal means I'm going to take my meds. I'm going to take my vitamins. I'm going to drink my water, brush my teeth, do all that fun stuff. I'm going to go for a walk, a jog or a workout. This is something I've added to my day. Love it. I'm addicted to it. Can't start my day without it now. By the time I come home, my daughter is waking up. I'm going to play with her for a solid one hour. That morning is sacred time with her. But by the time I come back, I get a chance to shower. I feel good. I've taken my vitamins, just feel energy from the workout. And then she's up and I'm able to be fully present as her, as a dad for her. And I'm spending some time with my wife. Maybe we make breakfast together. After that, I move right into I, important. For this, most of the time, I'm not even at the office. I'm at my home office. I close the door. No calls get scheduled until usually 12 o'clock. No major things, no video shoots, no calls no nothing. So I'm getting a solid 8.30 to 12, 9 to 12 after I'm done playing with my daughter. But it's usually about 8.30, 9 to 12 o'clock. That's three hours of no important, of no urgent stuff, no phone calls. Now, rare occasions, of course, sometimes their house is on fire. So of course, I'll, I'll make an exception. And during this time, I'm doing the important, not urgent stuff. And I'm telling you, man, I'm in the zone and I'm giving my morning, my high energy, my high brain, my defogged, ready to go brain off of a full night's sleep. Give my best hours to that. After that, I'll typically grab lunch, come into the office, and now begins the support time of my day. It's usually going to be from that 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. We're talking a few hours every day. I'm available. I am here to do the things that other people need. Calls. I'm talking to clients. I'm talking to customers, business partners, employees, team members. I'm entertaining social media. I'm doing whatever I need to do. These are not important tasks. Not always. They're important, but they're not as important. So I'll spend a bunch of time there. I like to wrap up and then typically I kind of get a little bit, if I have energy, I'll end the day with a little bit more important time. Not always. So that's why I didn't put it down in my block, but I'll go straight from support to family. I try to run home as soon as I can. That last one to two hours every day, about two hours every night, I will get home. And again, I will play with my daughter. It's family time. I feel good. I got a lot done that day. I'm not burned out. I wasn't at the office till seven or eight o'clock. I'm not completely exhausted. I'm not going home in a bad mood. I'm showing up and I'm present for my daughter. And then when she goes to sleep, typically I'll spend a little bit more time with my wife and go back to personal. The evenings, I like to cut off by reading a book, drinking some tea, 
tea, just doing something nice just to calm my nerves down. And again, I'll take my night vitamins that I need to take to kind of help shut my system down and I go to sleep. So notice how I've arranged my schedule in buckets. I don't schedule and I don't say 12 to one, I'll do this. One to 115, I'll read a book. 115, that's not for me. Some people do that, I can't do that. But remember something, focus on the important, not urgent, bucket your time and make sure you're giving yourself a lot of time and your family a lot of time and make sure you're giving a priority, professionally give priority to the important, not urgent tasks. You're gonna get a lot more done with a lot less energy. You'll be a lot less stressed and you won't go to sleep at night ever fearing like, what did I really do today? That feeling will go away. All right, hey, make sure you head over to learnexpert.com. Join our community of information marketers. We got a great free course, a free community and an amazing newsletter. And we've got some amazing things behind the scenes there for you as well. If you sell courses, coaching or consulting, you need to be at learnexpert.com and sign up right now. And of course, onikpodcast.com to binge listen to all of our episodes, A-N-I-K podcast.com. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, do what you got to do. This is Onyx and all reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, push it the heck back. See you on the next episode. Thank you. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singal.